You're watching Hexus TV and welcome back to our overclocking masterclass with Paul Watkinson from BenchTech UK. So Paul, we've um, in the last show we just went through the bits and pieces, you've now put them all together, so do you just want to take us through what you've got on this board? Because I know you had like yeah, several different certainly. components, didn't you? Certainly. So uh, first off, we've got the uh, Kingston 2000 megahertz memory. So this is the really, really quick stuff, yeah? Yeah, it's really, really quick. Um, like I said before, uh, only 1.65 volts to run at 2000 megahertz. Okay. It's outstanding. Right. Um, we've got the 1366 uh, socket 965 um, Extreme Edition Intel chip there um, underneath this large heat sink. Okay. We've obviously got the uh, Rampage 2 um, Extreme motherboard. We've got two 4870x2 uh, um, graphics cards. And then power? Um, power nothing? supply is a uh, Tough power 1200 from Thermaltake. Does that make much difference actually when you're overclocking the power supply? Having a good power supply is the bloodline. Um, it is, is it? Yeah. It is. With, okay. You know, without uh, the correct um, amperage there and rails and everything, uh, your whole overclock is doomed it's from just the start. Just not there anyway. Yeah, and like, is this the stock cooler, by the way? Yeah, that, that's yeah. the uh, new stock cooler, okay. um, which uh, I think is quite funky. All right. um, and it seems to work very well. Okay, so what we're going to do first is we're going to power uh, this up and make sure it yeah, all works. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to switch it on now and uh, let's fire it up and see what happens. Okay. You have to uh, ignore well, the a bit noise. noisy. <laughs> yes, yeah, unfortunately, it's the cards. We've got them full pelt because uh, yeah, you know, yeah, it's yeah, a little yeah. bit warm yeah. in here and uh, I want them not to burn up really. Okay. So we're just going straight into BIOS, are we? Yeah, this will uh, this sort of first sort of boot up, so it should take us there straight away to uh, bar settings. Okay. Um, as we can see here, um, a lot of this stuff is all new to me. This, this is an overclockers board and they've bunged in loads of options. Absolutely. So, so you can do of loads options. of moddings um, on it and whatever, yeah? I've, I haven't seen so many options ever on a board before. Right, okay. Um, so, like I said before, there's still lots I've got to learn here. But Doesn't it come with a book then? Yeah, you've got a book, but... Um, Who reads it, the book, you know, No one reads the book. Well, we've got things like, you know, U-Clock and QPI and all this. This is all new now for this kind of socket. Whereas before we'd see the things like uh, front side bus, yeah. you know, we've got QPI now and all this kind of stuff, you know? So well, that's a football term. Oh, no, it's QPR, sorry. Yeah, right. QPR. Right. Anyway, um, that looks all uh, pretty good, and I'm, I'm just going to boot up into Windows um, and check things over, make sure... We're, we're fine. Okay, so we're into Vista and you've opened up um, CPU-Z, so uh, just, just take us through uh, what we should be seeing here. Right, okay, well we've got a speed strap uh, obviously enabled, so it's, it's down clocked, uh, it's Intel speed strap, basically it's down clocked the processor right. from 3.2 um, to 1600 right. uh, megahertz, basically for energy cons uh, conversation. Right. Uh, so basically that's that, we've got our memory running at 6, uh, 668 at the moment, so it's just set set it underclocked. Everything is underclocked at the moment. Okay. Um, but if I leave that up there, we can see it's running at just a tad over one volt. Yeah. Um, at 1600 megahertz. I'm going to open up a, a W prime. And now we should see all that ramp up as. Uh... Yeah, we should we should see the uh, the voltage and um, the speed of the processor ramp up. I'm going to have to. Enable as you see there eight cores because we've got eight. Yeah, and I'll just clarify that by bringing up the task manager. There we go. We can see eight cores fully working there. So I'll pop him over there, and I should just run um, a quick. And as you can see, there three point three yeah. four one, and, and the, the voltage is just one point one six. Yeah, and that time was, what, 7.627. That'd be a, a world record for uh, 7.75. Really? Yeah, and we're at stock. And we're just running at stock? Yeah. So basically, it's quick already? Yeah. Yeah, it's very, very quick. Right. In, uh, in this uh, application. Okay, so I guess when it comes down to overclocking, it's really how stable it's going to be at the highest speeds and the lower temperatures. That's correct. And that's where any weaknesses in the board or in the memory or anything start to come into play, yeah? Anything, you know... It, Everything, it's a new platform, it's a new silicon, um, the whole lot. It's, it's all, a, all a new ball game for me now. Okay, so just out of interest now, what do you reckon you could get this up to on air? Just as it is now? As it is now, um, we'll go for a 4, perhaps a 4.2 um, overclock. I, I'm pretty confident we'll see a 4 gig overclock. Yeah, it's got to be something to do with that QPI bit we saw earlier. Yeah. yeah. It's got to be. Okay, right, well, let's have a go at that then. So uh, we're going to boot down and uh, we're going to have a quick fiddle in BIOS. 
Yeah. And then back up and hopefully we'll get a 4.2-ish overclock, yeah? Yeah. Wonderful. Yeah. Right, let's have a go. Okay, so we're into BIOS now, but before you do anything, I just noticed that you were turning the board on and off with your little buttons here, and I've just seen that rather than just having sort of like, you know, a start and a reset, you've got, looks like a little joystick. Do you want to tell us what, what's going on here? Yeah, what, this, what this the, is um, the Extreme Tweak It function. Uh, extreme Tweak It. Yeah, basically. <laughs> um, unlike a lot of the other boards where we can overclock the board um, from software, yeah. i.e. programs, yeah. we, we can actually do this on the fly. So... Directly on the board. Oh, that's right, so these are controls. Yeah, we can yeah, change. How, 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 do you, how do you see what you're doing? Basically, we've got the LCD. Oh, I thought the, this was a temperature readout. No, this is the LCD poster um, that basically we can enable that. Obviously, we can't at the moment because we're in the bars, but right. basically push a button, we can see, check the voltages, temperatures. So, 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 so from within Windows, you can muck around with the settings on the board without having to go back to the BIOS or reboot yep. or anything? Absolutely. Overclock it, change front side bus. Change the uh, so this is the ball aimed at aimed, aimed directly it's, at the overclockers. It's the extreme overclocker. Right, okay, it really is. All right, okay. So, so let's 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 do uh, let's do our overclock here and see if we can get a four point two, four four point two. Okay. Not that I want to talk you up too much or anything, but I'm expecting four point two or more. <laughs> okay, I've got one little profile saved. Ah, you're cheating now. I'm not, but um, I'm going to try and push it just that bit more. Okay. Um, so, so what did this profile get you? Do you remember? Oh. I think it was about 3.8, something like right, that. Right, okay. Um, there's 4.1, 4.2.90. And let's, let's go back with that. Yeah, it's 4.2. Yeah, 4.2, that, yeah. That had the memory run out at 19.64. Oh, this is quite cool, actually, up here. And it actually tells you what your overclock's going to be. Because, yep. I mean, I remember when I started overclocking. That's right, it's calculated. It was like, it's in a, uh, uh, 13.5 times old. Oh, you know, yeah, bits of paper it. all over the place and all Calculator. sorts. So it actually does it all for you, that's all right. So it's, it's very, very good. Um, let's check our voltages. 1.39 volts. Sounds good to me. Um, and there we have DRAM. Mustn't forget to set that, 1.65. That's all it needs. Don't, so don't want to go 1.65681? No. No? No, we go for that instead. Okay, all right. <laughs> okay, let's try that. That's... Um, Again, I'm not saying it will go, but that's 4.2 gig. All right. So, Paul, we're giving it a couple of goes, and it just didn't seem to want to go, no, did it? No, it's, it's just too warm in here, in here I believe. Um, yeah. You know, I've, I've knocked it down to, uh, you can see there's um, 4,000 megahertz, or just a tad, okay. a tad above. Uh, memory's now running at 2,000 megahertz, so uh, we we'll give, we'll give it a go. Uh, a four gig. gig, still not bad, is it? No, no, 4 gig. Um, as you see, we, we was getting in Windows at 4.2. Yeah. But it just wouldn't run the bench, you know. It's just yeah. too warm. Um, okay. So we'll give it a go at four gig. Uh, Which is a 25% increase. Yeah. If you get the point out yeah, of it. It's still it? not yeah. too bad in this, you know, it's temperature. Okay. Um, we must be, what, 25, 26 in here? Yeah, so it's, it's, it's easy. It is a bit warm, yeah. Hey, I've yeah. got a CPU set up. Um, you can see there, I've down clocked it now to four gig, which is still an overclock. Okay. Um, 1.368 volts and all eight cores there. Okay, and just, just just for the guys at home, um, Paul did try actually undervolting, um, didn't you, on, on on a couple of the other runs because sometimes the vagaries of these things might actually just be giving it too, yeah, too much. Yeah, but basically because, because of the, the thermal uh, limitations of the CPU, you know, too much voltage could be bringing in a, a, a thermal problem where the CPU is saying, "Oh, I'm going to shut down." Yeah. So it's always worth trying with less volts first, right, and gradually ramping them up. Okay. Um, you can see there, I've enabled the eight cores. Okay. And let's pray. Be nice to me. There you go, 6.3. 6.3. Yep. So that's 0.9 off. Yep. Of what we got before, was it? Because it's 7.2. 7.6. Oh, 7.6. 7.6, yeah, it's 1.3 off. That's not bad then. Yeah, that's, that's, that's pretty bad. good for, uh, what, 800 megahertz overclock. Not bad at all. Right, okay, so I think it's time to get a bit serious now, isn't it? Yeah, uh, I think now we know what the system can do. We've got a, there a stable, you can see that was eight full cores being fully utilised yep. under full load um, at four gig. I think under these conditions in this temperature, that is probably our maximum overclock on air. Right. Um, so I think it's time to strip down and get ready for LN2. Sorry, you mean strip down the board, yeah? Yeah, strip down the board, sorry. Okay, I, wasn't, I, wasn't, I wasn't sure if it was something, some, some kind of like, you know, uh, I don't know, custom for you bench tech guys, but like, as well, far as I'm know. concerned. 
the, the, yeah. the weather in here, I might strip down this, it's getting <laughs> a bit warm. So I'd need to break out that LN2 to cool down a bit. Okay, so. right, so there we go. So uh, check back soon on Hexus TV because we're going to be stripping down to the waist and splashing each other with water. Yes.